Welcome to this Sunday's garden video. I've actually just made myself a fresh pot of tea or a mug of tea. I won't spin it, I promise. Yesterday, I actually, oh, that hit the spot. Yesterday, I actually just potted around in the garden and I got loads of jobs done. I needed to swap out the one of the flower bed thingies, boxes, um, and I put some cut flower, well, flowers for cutting in it. Um, tidied up some pots as well, planted a few bits. So I'm gonna get into that footage first. Um, and then, yeah, just explain what I did in the garden yesterday. It was really nice. I had one of the days where I just put a podcast on and I was just pottering in the garden for like six hours or something, needed it. So the first job that I am tackling is I am clearing out this raised bed box. So this had a great run during springtime. There was loads of, the first of the tulips were in this box. And there was also, I think a couple of random daffodils, but I'm just clearing out this box because I'm gonna be putting some cut flowers in it. So my zinnias are screaming out to be planted. I grew them from seed, which I'm very proud of because they have lovely, strong, healthy roots on them. So I'm gonna do a section for zinnias and then I'm also gonna do a section for some cosmos. And then you'll see, I started to just put random things in. <laughs> so I did have, I had two tree dahlias that will grow really big against the wall and give me some nice wall coverage, but they'll also be nice to cut for some cut flowers and my cut flowers um my little mini cut flower farm it's just for me <laughs> and so i can cut them and pop them into the kitchen but i think they'll be nice to have and i also you'll see later in the video i've got some sweet peas that are starting to flower as well and they are also perfect for cut flowers because we haven't had a lot of rain in the past two weeks i did almost have to i pre-soaked the soil before i started planting because when i was digging i noticed that that soil was proper dry and I think sometimes mulch on top can be deceiving because it looks like it's wet and when you're watering it it looks wet but actually when you stick your finger in a bit deeper you can feel that it's quite dry. So the next job that I'm tackling is some pots. These had tulips in them. So I'm just taking away all of the dead foliage and I'm actually gonna be sprinkling some native wildflower seeds. Now I got these, I bought these from a company called, I think it's connecting to nature.ie and they sell native Irish wildflowers. Now it does say to sow them in spring or sow them in autumn for the following year. I am quite late sowing these, it's early June. So I might not get as many flowers or they may flower next year. I'm not too sure. So I'm taking a gamble with this so we can follow along for the progress. But I just thought they would be an easy and cheap way to get a bit of color. I had some pots where I had taken the dahlia tubers out because I had the opposite problem. The daily, the pots were too wet and I think the dahlia tubers, they were not liking it. So I took them out and I put them in the beds because they do prefer to be a little bit drier. Now, not bone dry. Um, so I'm just putting some like I think I'm, these are Osseospernum, so they're African daisies that I'm popping into the pots. I do have drainage holes in them and I did mix in some grit as well just to make it um, a little less soggy, but maybe it's the position of the pots. I think some of the rainwater is running off the greenhouse, so the pots are extra wet. But listen, I'm not gonna complain because it is summer and it has been quite dry, so I'll just have to keep my eye on that.
Now, I have a couple of jobs. I got some more barrels, half barrels from the salvage yard. I got them delivered because I want to do a display in the front. And I also need to clear away the dead daffodil foliage. And I also need to fix the mirrors. So I got, remember the mirrors that broke? You were seeing it in last week's video? Yeah. Um, I ordered the vinyl. This is lovely and thick as well. I ordered this mirrored vinyl to stick on. I don't know if I ordered enough to try and repair them. So I'm gonna go with this because at least this has no chance of smashing. So if they do fall off the wall, yeah, at least they're not gonna smash into smithereens and harm any of my furry friends or myself in the garden. So what will I do first? It's actually, there's a tiny bit of hazy rain outside, but it's not enough. I'm like, God, we need a thunderstorm. I need, I suppose, be careful what you wish for. And um, because we haven't had much rain and the garden needs it. Although the grass is still green, the front is getting a bit orangey, but sure look. I think I might repair the things first. Yeah, and I don't mind doing it in the bit hazy rain. My hair will go fizzy, but you don't mind. Let's go. So this vinyl was really easy to stick on and it wasn't too bubbly. So as you can see, there's like this blue protective layer on top. So I simply just placed it, lined up the edges, and then once I trimmed off the excess on the top, I peeled back the adhesive backing on it. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna last. It could be short term fix. I will be your experiment. It may not last the winter. It could peel, I'm not too sure. The adhesive did seem to have a decent amount of sticky on it though. So I just stuck it on and then I used my Cricut tool. It's like a, a squeegee tool um, to push out any bubbles. And then once it was on, I trimmed off any excess on the back and then I peeled off that layer and then slotted it back into the frame. Okay, it is starting to rain, but I don't mind a bit of rain. I just need to be careful with my camera. Sorry, me mic is wobbling. So the mirrored things, you can probably tell the disappointment in my voice. So they actually don't look too bad in camera, but if you look closely, you can kind of see the texture of the board underneath it. Like it's a really lightweight kind of thing. I do think the glass was obviously much nicer also my kale has bolted but I've left it for the bees because um this was humming with bees before the rain came so I was like you know what I shall leave it for the bees so I mean the good thing is these are now lightweight so when I say they're lightweight like they're strong enough to kind of be on the wall they're not going to flip off in a wind because when the glass was in them it was really thick mirrored glass and it was really heavy like I couldn't lift it by myself so um it's a similar weight to the other mirror that was here like I get the same effect but you can see it's kind of more muted it kind of looks like when glass has rain on it so I'm going to stick them up. I'm going to do one like either side 
and I think when there's that, like you still get the reflection of the plants, which is what I wanted. And yeah, I don't know actually if the vinyl underneath, like how it will last the elements. Will it last long? Will it only last a season? I don't know. Um, I will test it out for you and we can check back in in winter time or whenever to see if the vinyl actually lasted or did it peel off but I made sure to scrape it on so um sure if not I know Karen has these without the glass behind it and she has it just hanging on the wall and I think she's gonna have climbers coming up it as well so also I need to harvest well harvest I need to cut some of my sweet peas and I can make myself a little sweet pea bouquet because the more you keep cutting the flowers off them the more it's going to flower so I've got loads of them I've got some here and um, my neighbor gave me this piece of mesh as well to stick on the back so that the sweet peas could have something stronger to climb up because the nasturtiums are kind of taking over the sweet pea teepee <laughs> these nasturtiums are self seeders they came back from last year but actually it was a couple of years ago my neighbour gave me one and it died but obviously it just went to seed and when I put good compost here the seed was like wakey wakey so I now have nasturtiums so yeah loads of seed heads on this so I think I'll cut myself oh there's a little bug in here I don't know if you can see him chilling so yeah I'll cut myself a couple of sweet peas and bring them inside also the dahlia when these actually fell down, one or two of the dahlias got squashed, but they have had a recovery. This guy has recovered, so that's not too bad. But um, yeah, I was just chatting to Karen and it's properly raining where she is. I'm like, come on, rain. Um, but it's only drizzle here, so I kind of need a good downpour. Oh, I think there's a little bit of rain coming back, but as you can see, what has your girl got in the driveway? Oh, she's got a ton of soil. <laughs> First of all, loving how this is just bursted with some wildness and colour. Everything is just starting to flower, even the little cosmos that I planted from seed as well. So that rain has definitely been needed. But I did get a bag of soil from Quick Crop because remember I wanted to do some stuff in the front with the sleepers, but the chap, <laughs> he put it here blocking kinda my entrance. I mean, I can get past, but I can't get past with my wheelbarrow. So uh, I need to, well, I think I can lift my wheelbarrow over, but the plan just for now is to see all of this uh, daffodil foliage clip all this back so it can be nice and tidy and also just give the plants some like more ventilation and just yeah ventilation and space to breathe and yeah there's nothing I have been trying to keep on top of the water and in the front as well but loads of height some only one of the roses is flowering at the moment but there's loads of buds on the other one so i'm excited to see how that turns out, out of bed and i still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said it's like i'm wasted every time i see your face i'm losing track of time and space i don't know where i am it's like i'm wasted and i won't waste it and i promise that i I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it
closer now Cause I don't wanna slow this down My heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I Also, before I finish up, I got some extra barrels. I'm going to do, I think, two of them with wildflowers in it, one with a bit of planting. And I got this one to kind of have some height around them. I do have some small pots then as well. So I thought it might be fun to do something like a little display here because this is kind of just a waste of space, kind of. Um, not a waste of space, perfect opportunity for some plants. So um, I'll definitely use up some of my soil that I have here, placed in the most random of places, busher here we are. And yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this brown or rustic, but I might paint one or two of them um, for a bit of color. So yeah, that is my little barrel haul. It is lovely and humid. Can you tell by my hair? It's back to frizzy hair season where my hair just decides to go poof with the humidity. So it was raining earlier. It has been quite unusually warm. Um, and for the rest of the week, it's the warm temperatures, no rain. But I think there's more, I think in a week's time, there's rain. I've seen on the Owl Weather app. Love looking at the weather. <laughs> um, no, so like next Monday, 30% chance of rain. Yeah, I really regret not buying water butts sooner. I think what we're gonna have to do as gardeners is just have like about 10 of them and fill them up all winter with the rain and then try and live off it for summer because there's no hosepipe bands or anything yet. I say yet, but I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting, so lesson learned. I need to look at my water con conservation, conservation, collecting. I need to collect water and lots of it. But actually, in saying that, I've hardened up some of, I read a thing and it said, if you water your plants like every single day, you basically, they kind of become used to that. So if you can water them every other day or like soak them proper once a week, they kind of learn to tolerate it or something, don't quote me. Um, and last year, this year I have stronger plants in the front and last year they were the ones that were like, after a couple of days they were showing like, give me a drink. And I'd only water them properly once a week and um, like soak them proper once a week. Um, and this year they're much stronger and they're tolerating the kind of lack of rain. Um, and I'm still only properly soaking them once a week. I may have to do it maybe every other night if it is going to stay quite hot. No, I think they're showing signs of being okay for now. And the one thing I constantly have to fill up is the bird bath. <laughs> Can you see the little chaps in the bird bath? But I don't mind that because they give me joy. Actually, they might. They're not there. Oh, before I go, actually, I want to show you. Can you see that my tree is flowering? I'm going to, oh, here's some hair. Can you see 
the little blossoms on it. So this only happens, I'd say, once a year. Oh, there's loads of birds actually up here. And it does be buzzing with bees. Also, what haven't um, dug up a hole or planted it yet. Oh, more daffodils, damn it. I need to trim these back as well. But I bought a peony when I was at Bloom. Um, I don't actually know what this variety is, but it's still in its pot, as you can see. So I've just been positioning it in the border just to see um, where I kind of like it. And anything else come up? These geraniums are absolutely flying again. And I left this patch of grass and there's lots actually growing in it. You've got creeping buttercup in it. We've got these grasses as well. So it's nice to kind of see what's growing in it. So I'm gonna leave this patch for as long as I can really. And then if I do have any frogs or lodgers in the pond, then at least they have loads of wild kind of areas to go to. I had a lupin as well come back. There's another lupin foliage there. And I definitely think I lost one or two lupins because I think there was five or six of them in here and I can only see three of them so far. So also this smells amazing. Can you hear that bee as well? Anyway, that is me for this week. Let me know how you're getting on in the garden. I am seeing lots of other people online with loads of roses flowering and I just feel like I'm late to the party with the roses. Just goes to show, don't compare yourself to others. Um, I have one rose, the climbing rose is flowering, but all the other ones are just like, maybe another week. They have buds on them, they're just yet to open. But there is definitely more buds than last year. So I think what old Brenda's horse manure compost that I was putting on it last year, I think has helped it this year. Anyway, I will leave it there. Chat to you in the comment section. Cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.